to the mats, we're going to welcome in head wrestling coach Jamie Gibbs to talk about the Yellow Jacket Grapplers who get their season underway this weekend at Ithaca, at the Ithaca Invitational in upstate New York. First of all, Coach Gibbs. Coach Gibbs, welcome to the program. Thank you very much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me, Matt. Appreciate it. Yeah. How's it feel to get the wrestling season underway? It seems like it's been a long time since you were on the mats. Oh, how about it? We got guys chomping at the bit. We're super excited to get rocking and rolling here. So, yeah, it feels great. Feels great. Uh, this week you get underway uh, at the Ithaca Invitational, but before then, we want to congratulate you uh, as you were picked by your fellow head coaches to successfully defend your Ohio Athletic Conference Championship in the preseason poll. How does it feel to build a program and help establish a program to the point where you're getting that mutual respect? I, I tell you what, um, I think uh, I, th I think it's good. I think those polls are, are great for the fans, so I'm happy for our fans. Um, but our, 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 our guys know there's a lot of work to be done, and they're going to have to go out and nothing's going to be given to them and the conference uh conference is challenging um you know there's there last year i think there were three top 10 teams in the conference so we're going to have a work cut out for us and got a target on our back you know i think we've won five out of the last six championships so um they like to wrestle baldwin wallace matt they like to, <laughs> they like to wrestle Walden wallace so you're gonna you know you're gonna get everybody's best shot absolutely and that has to help kind of temper the expectations of those preseason polls that we like to talk about because you are going to get everybody's best and you your senior leaders have really set a good example to know that hey to get back to that championship level there's a whole lot of work that's got to go into it to that point yep absolutely they know there's work to be done they're, they're excited for it they're uh chomping at the bit you know the season's been shortened the last two years so they're they're, they're grateful for the opportunity and and uh we got 48 uh hungry guys that are that are ready to rock and roll this weekend when we he head to Ithaca so yeah so you start the season this weekend but how long have you been in, in practice and training mode since October 10th since October 10th you know they they're, they're doing the preseason stuff on their own uh you know since you know time school starts but official practice started on October 10th and what have you seen from the guys so far they're hungry. They're getting their legs underneath them. You know, we talk about the toughening process. So we're, we're going through the toughening process right now. Um, you know, each day trying to put a focus on, you know, making sure that we're getting a little bit better. Uh, they're paying attention to detail. They're being coachable. Um, hiccups along the way, but that's good. That's good. Those are teachable moments, and adversity is great. So we welcome it. We're grateful for it. Uh, so, you know, right now, it's just fun because we have a lot, you know, our thing is nobody has a nobody has a starting position right now. So these first couple weekends, we're going to sort some things out. we got a lot of talented guys. Um, we got some returners that are hungry. We've got some returning regional place winners, some returning national qualifiers. And we got some uh, young, talented guys coming in, uh, freshmen, a couple transfers that it's going to be fun to watch these first couple of weeks unroll before we uh, dive into that uh, arch, you know, one of our rivals with, with Mount Union we open with. And, you know, we get into the national duels and um, got a, a dual meet with Michigan State later on down the line and a couple home tournaments. So we've got a, an exciting schedule, Matt. Yeah, you sure do. It's front end loaded, by the way, too. Uh, <laughs> if you want to see some good wrestling, get out and watch these Yellow Jackets early and often in the season because – their early portion of their schedule is lights out. You get underway this weekend as we're still in the midst of fall championship season, but the winter sports are starting to pick up. Yep. You get into action on Friday uh, at the Ithaca Invitational up in upstate New York. Um, you, you're there for two days uh, for the two-day tournament. What are you expecting to see out of your guys? You know, we're, see, we're, we're expecting to see the guys come out and, and be aggressive, you know, um, I think that's the biggest thing. We talk about get yourself completely exhausted trying to score points. If they do that, we're going to be in good. We're going to be in good shape. Um, I think that, along with just watching some of these weight classes uh, shake out a little bit, and just I'm excited to see these young guys compete. I'm excited for some of our returning um, seniors, some of our fifth-year seniors, just to. 
you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm super pumped to watch them compete and get back into action, and, and uh, they, they deserve it. You know, yeah. all, all these guys deserve it. They deserve to get back into a full season, so they're It's been a couple of years since you've they're been pumped. through a full season from yeah. start to finish. Yeah. You had yep. the 2019-2020 season cut short right before national tournament, and then the last year was kind of a grind just to get through it. Mentally, though, how nice is it to be – you know, having that, you're, you have that muscle memory. It doesn't leave you as a coach. You know, when it gets to October, that it's time to start turning it up. And in November, you get into it. How nice is it to be back in that rhythm? Super nice. Um, you know, our coaches are. Just, they, we got best coaching staff in the country. You know, uh, with Coach Zastro and company. Um, you know, just seeing those young assistants in there during the mornings working spending time with guys after practice uh just you know just develop them daily that's special that's what we enjoy coming to work about you know work for is just you know working with those athletes on a daily basis helping them become complete athletes on and off the mat in all phases of uh, of their wrestling all phases of, of, of their academics and so that's what's really special you know and we we didn't have that last year we we missed uh Know, that whole first semester so to speak and so just being able to to work with them on a daily basis with all of our assistants is pretty awesome pretty special so we're, we're super grateful to get back to that yeah well you uh put in a lot of work to get to this point and you're looking to bear the fruit of that labor you're starting off with a front end loaded schedule as we said against it or at the ithaca Invitational. Then you head to Trine University the following weekend for their Invitational Tournament. And then on November 16th, you kick off what will be an extremely busy week as you host Mount Union on Tuesday. And then four days later, you host the BW Invitational at the Lou Higgins Center. Do you like the way that the early season schedule played itself out and you're going to get to know a lot about your guys before you really get into the meat of the schedule? Yeah, it is what it is. Um we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna take the the glass half full approach and we're, we're, we're gonna get in some uh, a very important match early in the season uh, with Mount Union and then a couple days later we're gonna host our uh, our invite and that's a fun tournament and we have a lot of good teams coming in we're gonna have uh, one of our former assistants one of our former assistants uh, uh, it's coming back with his team from Delaware Valley um, it's getting a lot of good teams and a lot of uh, a lot of different uh, competition, so it's that's a great week. Yeah, for sure, that'll be a busy week for you, but hopefully a good one as well. Uh, taking a look at your team individually before we get on out of here, Coach. Uh, in looking at your upper class leadership, you have about a dozen seniors on your roster. Yeah. Uh, how have they helped you set the standard of excellence and set the the standard of work expectations as you've built this program into the powerhouse it is in the OAC? We have some excellent leaders and, and they're constantly learning. Um, we're continuing to work on them being extensions of the coaching staff. They lead by example. Um, but we've got some talented upperclassmen and they do a great job of you know, leading the way and, and, and showing these young guys how to work. They're great communicators and, and uh, they work well with the coaching staff and just coming in and, and finding out what the expectations are and, and um, living up to them and pushing it back out to, the, to all 48 guys, yeah. <laughs> which is no easy task. No, you, it's hard to get, <laughs> it, you know, two people on the same page. You, you yeah, have sure. to help get 48 on the same page. Uh, but I think your reputation precedes you, though, as a team. And, I, and, and I've said this about other yeah, schools when they've had a run of success. The the program kind of just instills that in you from day one that yeah we expect to be a champion but there's a lot of points that need to be hit before then before you can call yourself there, a champion. there's a standard and they got to live it to it daily and it's hard you know it's it's hard and, and but they that's what they came here for yeah you know that's what they came here for so they're we've got an unbelievable uh group of upper upperclassmen that uh so excited for them so yeah, you want to highlight? Let's highlight a few of those upper. Yeah, classmen. I mean, I think you got some of our returners um, that are coming back that were seniors last year and coming back. Guys like Tanner McHugh, uh, Stan Blake, Dalton Leitner, Kevin Kelly. 
Uh, they got some other returning regional placers in Doug Byrne and Lucas Salmon and Jared Miller. And then um, a bunch of other returners that won a lot of matches. And now it's their time to shine. And uh, I think that's kind of some of the... We're, we're going to go into Ithaca this weekend. And we're going to have some some young guys. We're going to have some old guys that are going to have some surprise performances in a great way. And that happens every year, and, and, and that's one of our favorite things to do as a coaching staff. Who's going to have a breakout performance? You know, so we're saying we're talking about that the night before and the whole thing. Who who's going to have that breakout performance? And that that's so fun to watch unfold each and every week and each and every match and competition. So um, we're we're super excited about that. Yeah. Uh, taking a look at some of the younger wrestlers on the team that people may not know about yet, who yep. are some buddy, who are some na uh, names to keep an eye on as the season develops? Oh, holy smokes! I don't I don't want to leave guys out, but uh, you know, 25 is is wide open, and we got some really talented guys at 125, and um, you know, 133, we got uh, some returning guys that have done really well last year as as freshmen, guys like Jaden Hinton and David Panda, and. Uh, a couple other young guys are going to push them. And at 41, we got uh, returners in Zach Anderson, Connor DeBow, and Robbie Paul Mary that are going to be hanging out there and, and challenging one another. And um, 49, we got guys like Tanner McHugh, uh, Petrella. Um, Michael Petrella, his dad was a national champion here, our first ever national champion. Um, and, and a handful of other really talented guys there. At 57, you got guys like uh, Stan Blake and some other young, hungry guys that are very talented. 65, you got Leitner coming back. Um, you know, COVID All American, returning national qualifier. 74, got a guy named Griffin Rathburn and uh, a bunch of other guys that are, are really talented there. And 84, Lucas Salmon. Um, who's a returning regional placer. Some other young guys that are going to push him. Doug Byrne at 97. It's a fun guy to watch. Uh, and then heavyweight, we got um, Jared Miller, returning regional place winner. And then you got guys like uh, Drew Levis, um, Matt Wirtz, who's gone up from 84 to 97 all the way up to heavyweight now, are some names to, to, to watch. And then, like I said, there's going to be guys that I didn't mention right now that are are gonna you, you'll be surprised you're gonna see some of these names that haven't been the the staples of bw wrestling here how nice is it. it to have that kind of depth as, at each weight class i mean you just rattled off a bunch of weight classes and there <laughs> were two and three names that you're yeah. like well on, on any given day hey the lineup may look a little bit different but you you have to get these guys out there because they've earned the right to participate a absolutely and um yeah i think a couple of years ago we won a conference championship and regional champion. And we had, I think at any point in time, we, we put 20 different, only 10 guys are starters, right? We put 10, 20 some different wrestlers wrestled varsity at some point in time. We're a starter, you know, and that, I think that's the depth that you speak of, um, which is a great luxury and, you know, iron sharpens iron. Yeah. Uh, we hear a lot about, you know, competition amongst teammates can really help uh, push each other and you just mentioned it iron sharpens iron how nice is it to have that have developed that depth that becomes competition in your wrestling room so when guys do get to match day it, it's not overwhelming because what they face in practice every day is pretty challenging i mean they these guys work each other pretty hard yep. when they're in the wrestling room and really help set the table for what you expect on match day you hit the nail on the head our guys believe in that they know they're getting pushed each and every day, and sometimes their toughest match matches and competitions in, in, in the practice room. And I think it gives them a sense of confidence, Matt. Yeah, and and confidence shouldn't be lacking as BW uh, will look to win their sixth OAC championship in seven years and make it two straight. Uh, Coach Gibbs, thank you very much for joining us. It was a pleasure to talk with you. Thanks, I look Matt. forward to seeing what your team does and has in store for us this year. It should be a good winner for you. Yeah, I appreciate it. We're looking forward to it. Thank you. Uh, that's Coach Jamie Gibbs of the wrestling, the re head wrestling coach here at Baldwin Wallace University. He's looking to get his season underway in uh, fine fashion as the Yellow Jackets travel up to upstate New York to participate in the Ithaca Invitational before heading out the next weekend to Trine University and then opening the home portion of the schedule with Clyde to Slate as they have a dual meet with 
the Mount Union Purple Raiders, one of the teams that are picked to be right on their heels in the OAC race, and then the BW Invitational at the Lou Higgins Center the following week on November 20th. So busy uh, opening start for Coach Gibbs at the wrestling program, and we'll see. Uh, we hope to see many good things out of your program. Looking forward to it, Matt. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Coach. Coach Jamie Gibbs, again, of the Baldwin Wallace wrestling team. And uh, we're going to 